Hi everybody, it's Danielle from Haverford Township Free Library and welcome to this week's Pajama Story Time. Tonight, we are gonna read something new. We're gonna read The Someone New. And this is by Jill Twist and Egg Keller. The Someone New. Hmm, I wonder who was new. Let's find out. Someone knew. When Jitterbug woke up, she could already tell something was new. Jitterbug was a careful chipmunk. She liked it when things stayed the same. When something was new, she got a little quiver in her tummy. Look how organized she is. Let's take a look. She's got all of her acorns stored by month. And then she's got a to-do list here on this side. And what does she have to do? She has to do cheek stretches, because you know, chipmunks, they have those cheek pouches like <laughs> She has to polish her acorns. Uh, she has to burrow her burrows. And she has to call Grand Chip and Grand Monk. Aw, that's nice. Chipmunks are so sweet. What is this something new, she wondered. Is it Toast the Butterfly? No, she is flitting from flower to flower, sharing her important thoughts like every other day. Hello, 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 shouted Jitterbug. Hello, Jitterbug, said Toast. Did you know that a group of butterflies is called a kaleidoscope? I didn't know that. Fun fact, a group of butterflies is called a kaleidoscope. <laughs> Whoa, that was good information, but it was not the something new. Jitterbug kept looking. Is it Geezer the Goose or Duffles the Nudge, the, uh, or Duffles and Nudge the Otters? She wondered. wondered. No, they are splashing in the river just like always. Hello, 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 shouted Jitterbug. Honk, 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 said Geezer, who sounded grouchy, even when he wasn't. Good day to you, Jitterbug, said Duffles. Did you hear the thunderstorm last night? It just, said Nudge, missed our forest, said Duffles. Whoa, that was good information. But Duffles and Nudge were best friends. They always finished each other's thoughts. That was not the something new. Then Jitterbug saw something she had never seen before. It was both hard and soft. It was both round and even more round. It was something new. No, wait, it was someone new. And that someone new was moving toward them very slowly. Hello, 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 Jitterbug said nervously. Jitterbug's tummy was doing some pretty big time tummy quivers. Who's the someone new? Looks like a snail. And look, the snail's got a little backpack. Hello, said the someone. My name is Pudding. Hello, Pudding, said Toast. Did you know that butterflies taste with their feet? Hello, and how do you do, said Nudge. Excuse us for asking, said Duffles, but what exactly are you? Whispered Nudge. After a long pause, Pudding said, I am a snail. I am from the garden over the big hill. Whoa, that was good information. Jitterbug had never seen a snail before. A snail was definitely someone new. Why did you leave your garden and come here? asked Jitterbug. Pudding did not answer right away. If there was one thing Jitterbug had learned about snails, and so far there was only one thing Jitterbug had learned about snails, it was that they answered questions very slowly. Pudding took a breath. Last night there was a big storm and my garden flooded. 
Everything around me washed away and I was left all alone. I squished all the way here to be safe. I want to stay here. Look, there is, there's pudding floating away on a leaf. There's the flood in Pudding's garden. With us? said Jitterbug cautiously. I in our forest? Pudding nodded. But, 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 said Jitterbug thinking aloud. But what if there are not enough acorns for all of us? What if everyone decides that squishy snails like Pudding are nicer than furry or chipmunks that, like me? What if everything is uh, different? Jitterbug's tummy quivers were turning into tummy cartwheels. Pudding had just opened his mouth to answer when... Pudding, I am very sorry for your home, but you cannot stay here, Jitterbug blurted out. Pudding looked at Jitterbug, looked back toward his old garden, and then quietly began to squish back the way he'd come. Everything was going to stay the same. Jitterbug's tummy relaxed until she looked up and saw her friends. Look at her friends. They, they look like they kind of disapprove of what Jitterbug said, right? That Pudding wasn't welcome to stay in their forest with them. What, what, what? said Jitterbug. Did you know that I was new once? spluttered Toast. I used to be a caterpillar. Honk, honk, honk! I was also new once, said Geezer. I used to live in a beautiful lake. Then people started to fill it with garbage until it wasn't safe for me anymore. That's when I came here. You were both new, said Jitterbug. It feels like you all have always been beside me, honking your honks and, and flitting around our flowers. That is how friends feel, said Duffles. Even when they are new, friends feel like you've known them forever, said Nudge. But new can be scary, said Jitterbug. Jitterbug, do you remember when Toast wanted to see her reflection, so she flew very close to the river, asked Geezer. Oh, yes, said Jitterbug. A Toast flew so close to the river that pretty soon she had flown into the river. No one else was around, said Nudge. And you had always been so scared of swimming, said Duffles. But even though you were frightened, said Geezer, you jumped right into the water and saved Toast. Because even though new can be scary, kindness is stronger than fear. Whoa, that was very good information. I have to go get pudding, yelped Jitterbug. Jitterbug ran as fast as she could, and when she thought she had looked everywhere, she found Pudding right around the corner. If there was one thing Jitterbug had learned about snails, and so far there was still only one thing Jitterbug had learned about snails, it was that they ran away very slowly. Pudding, said Jitterbug, I was wrong. Please, please, please come live with us. I was scared because you were new, but then I, I realized how scared you must be to be in a place where everyone is new. You were so brave to come here. Let's be scared together. Thank you, Jitterbug. I will miss my old home, but now I can make a new one with all of you. So look what Pudding did. I mean, look what uh, Jitterbug did. They painted a sign for Pudding. That's going to be Pudding's home. And Pudding stayed because kindness is stronger than fear. And sometimes it takes very special friends to be brave enough to tell you you are wrong. Pretty soon it felt like Pudding had been there forever. Look, there he is floating on one of the otter's tummies with Jitterbug, and they're all laughing and being friends. 
Now, there were many things Jitterbug knew about snails. She knew that they were strong and brave and smart and kind. But if there was one thing Jitterbug knew about snails, it was that they are very good friends. The end. That was The Someone New by Jill Twist and Egg Keller. I thought that was a really sweet book. Have you ever been new someplace and been really scared? Maybe you're going to camp this summer and your first day at camp, you didn't maybe didn't know anybody there and you felt really scared. Maybe the kids, I'm sure, felt the same as you. The other kids, they must have felt really scared too because they felt like the new person. And so maybe next time you see someone new, welcome them. Say, let's be friends. Introduce yourself. Now, we need to have a song. I realized the other day that I haven't done the Sticky Bubblegum song in I don't know how long. And there must be some of you out there that have never experienced the Sticky Bubblegum song. You don't know what it is. And I felt so bad. And I thought, oh my goodness, we need to do the Sticky Bubblegum song. So, here it goes. <laughs> First, you have to take your imaginary piece of bubble gum, wherever you keep it, either in your pocket, or either in your, um, in your hair, behind your ear, or um, you know, in your armpit, wherever you keep your bubble gum. And um, so take it out and stick it in your mouth. And chew it up. And make it nice and soft and squishy. Because we're going to blow a really big bubble. This is a really big piece of bubble gum. So I can make a really big bubble. So we're going to blow a really big bubble. And then we're going to pop it. Okay, right? bubble gum song and now that you have sticky bubble gum all over your hands we can start the song sticky 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 bubble gum bubble gum bubble gum sticky 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 bubble gum sticking our hands to our head <gasps> oh that wasn't a really good idea either oh now our hands are stuck to our head and we're gonna have to pull it off and it might hurt because it's stuck to our hair so we're gonna do it really quick, like a Band-Aid, okay? Ready, on the count of three. One, two, three, go! Ow, 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 ow. Now we have hair stuck to the bubble gum on our hands. That's pretty gross, but that's okay. We can keep going, okay? Yeah, sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum, sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum. Sticking our hands to our face. Oh, that wasn't such a good idea either. Oh, well, because now our hands are stuck to our face. And um, we have to pull our hands off of our face because we can't get stuck like this all day. It's not very productive. So, okay, so we're going to pull our hands off of our face and we're going to do it really quick again, like a band aid. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 well now we have bubble gum at, uh, stuck to our face and hair stuck to our face. Ew, ew, okay. This is getting um, a little gross, but uh, I think we can keep going. Yeah, okay. Sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum, sticking our hands to somebody else's hand. Stick your hand to somebody else's hand. Ew, guys, that's really gross. Now you have somebody else's bubble gum 
stuck to your hand. Oh, well, that's how germs spread, guys. Ew, ew, okay, this is really gross. So we need to do this. We need to unstick, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Now we have bubble gum and hair and somebody else's bubble gum stuck to our hands. This is getting really gross, but I think we can keep going. Okay. Sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, sticky, sticky bubble gum, sticking our hands to somebody else's head. Stick your hands on somebody else's head. Ew. 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 Okay. Now we're just like a big, gross bunch of the hairy, sticky, uh, clumpy mess. Ew. Okay. So, um... This doesn't really turn out um, like I thought it would. So let's let's unstick, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three, unstick! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, guys. Now we have bubble gum and hair and somebody else's bubble gum and somebody else's hair stuck to our hands. This is too gross for me now. No, I can't go on anymore. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We need to get it off. Get it off, get it off, get it off. Get it off your hands. Get it off, get it off your face. Oh, it's on your face. It's on your face. Oh, and it's in your hair. It's, ew, ew. Oh, all right. We might need like some peanut butter or something like that to get it out of our hair. Ew, ew, ew. It's under my nails. Ew, 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 ew. <sighs> okay. That was gross. I think we should do something else, something a lot less gross. I think we should do our silly lullaby. Oh, yes, silly lullaby, definitely. Grab your snuggle buddy, whether that's your stuffed animal, your pillow, your blanket, your sibling, your grown up, your pet, yourself, and give it a big squeeze. Oh, no more bubble gum, no more hair, no. Mm -mm. Just silly lullaby from Sandra Boynton. Go to sleep, my zoodle, my fibbledy fitzy foo. Go to sleep, sweet noodle, it's time to say achoo. The chicken's in the bathtub, the closet full of sheep. The sneakers in the freezer are drifting off to sleep. Go to sleep, my zoodle, my fibbledy fitzy foo. Go to sleep, sweet noodle, the owl is whispering, moo. And with that, we say good night. And thank you so much for joining me for Pajama Story Time and for the Sticky Bubblegum Song. Go take a bath and get some peanut butter. Get some, or whatever it is that you need to get that bubblegum out of your hair. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Didn't think that one through. Bye for now.